What is this? A worm or a larva? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know enough about this organism, but there's one thing that I certainly do know that it's actually one of the more interesting ones that I found in the recent weeks. And not the organism itself is so interesting, but rather that what I found inside it. Stay tuned and watch uh, what I'm going to show you because I think it's quite uh, fascinating. Well, first of all, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. This little creature, well, this little creature was quite large. I'm just looking at it using my low power um, objective. And uh, I caught it uh, just a few days ago using my homemade plankton net. You can see I used a nylon stocking and I did a little bit of sewing and I constructed this plankton net. And this is where I then ultimately found uh, this uh, organism here. And here we can already look a little bit more into the organism. And if you very carefully you're gonna see that there are some moving things inside this little worm or larva look very carefully they look a little bit like ciliates like maybe even paramecia um, that are moving and living inside this larva or this worm it's quite fascinating uh, to see that well when I first saw this I thought well hmm, maybe the creature ate them and it's kind of the food but actually I don't think that this is the case the reason is is that uh, there is a digestive system with an intestine going through the organism and that's not where they were right they were actually found in the space between the digestive system um, in the body um, and, the, and the surface so that's basically in the body cavity and this is where I, I found all of these things here and if you look very carefully um, this is now done under oblique illumination so the light is coming from the side and you can actually see it quite well that there, I don't know how many of them are there there 30 40 or 50 of these little individual cells are moving um, inside uh, this uh, creature here now I don't know if they are parasites uh, um, I do not know if uh, they are symbionts. Uh, symbionts, they basically this means that uh, both uh, the, the creature, the organism, um, and the single-celled organisms, they both, they both benefit. Um, I don't know if this is the case, or if they are parasites, or if uh, it's indeed infected uh, with, uh, with uh, those uh, ciliates. Um, I don't know about that. In any case, uh, how did I catch it? Um, I took my little plankton net and went down to the local stream, and I nearly fell in to the water I slipped it was so muddy and slippery I nearly fell in there so what I said is okay I'm not gonna try there so I left uh, again and I found a different place and this is basically where I found uh, this uh, little uh, thing here um, it is actually not unusual to see uh, cells living inside other organisms I mean just look at uh, human beings I mean we've actually more bacterial cells uh, growing on our body and in our body than we have body cells um, some people I've not tried this yet but some people are also uh, able to find uh, some mites that are living inside the skin in your eyebrow you have to use some glue to get them out. I think I'm gonna plan on doing this in an upcoming video. But what we have here right now is this, this is the little stream where I then uh, almost fell into um, and this is also where I simply threw in the little pl plankton net and then uh, tried to after a couple of minutes I tried to get the, out whatever I could find. Unfortunately I did not get a lot of uh, stuff out there. There was a little stone but that's not what I caught. I actually put it in there before uh, to make sure that the net actually sinks down a little bit but there were yeah there were a few algae there but among these algae this is also where I found uh, this little um, organism that was infected or infested maybe um, with uh, paramecia could be paramecia or at least uh, they looked like ciliates so what is the next thing to do to check actually whether these are really parasites or not well I mean that's something I did not do but one possibility could it could be is actually to cut open the, the organism and to see whether those little uh, ciliates are able to live on their own or whether or not uh, this could be actually be an indicator um, on whether there is some kind of a symbiotic relationship because if they're able to live on their own um, then this could be an indicator that indeed maybe they're parasites but if they're yeah well actually I'm, I'm speculating right now I have to admit um, I don't uh, know enough about that what a molecular biologist would do in any cases is to do a DNA test but that's something that we cannot do well basically what I just want to uh, tell you is is that uh, one of the nice things about amateur microscopy is, is that you can go on exploration and you can find all sorts of new things that you have not seen before uh, that's one of the things that I kind of like I totally did not expect uh, to find uh, um, all of those intracellular not intracellular intra intraorganismic I would rather say <laughs> ciliates there but uh, in any case uh, microscopy is always something that uh, can keep you excited especially if you see 
beautiful diatoms there by the way they were also in the same sample beautiful diatoms like this um, yeah these are algae and uh, they can be also found uh, quite frequently and also some of them also move around a little bit uh, just like this one but the size difference is, difference is, is quite large because they're significantly smaller than of course the larva or the worm that I found so people, um, I hope that you liked the, the video again. I do want to invite you over to my other YouTube channel that I have uh, where I'm talking more about the microscope hardware and giving other microscopy advice. And uh, please also visit the shop. There's a link below. I have a fundraiser. There's a link below. Yeah, just uh, have a look. Um, and uh, I hope uh, that you also subscribe to the channel maybe. And I uh, wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.